right. Have two scalene. Okay. Two marks. What should I do? Of twos needs to have a right. It has to have one bigger than ninety. So my go-to is something like this. Uh, the obtuse part will be taking care of this, and I'll just make sure that you know I do that done obtuse. Right? The scalene part, you either make all three angles be different, or you use markings where you indicate that they're all different, right? They are all different measurements. Um, so I give you some variations. You could have had it like this, right? Where this is, uh, I don't know, 98. 98 is bigger than 90, right? So that'll do it. And then you can say this is three centimeters, five centimeters, and 12 centimeters. That would do the trick as well. I will not check if that works out. When it comes down to this, it could be that it doesn't work out with these numbers. I wouldn't do that to you, okay? Just to kind of make sure. Um, right now, it's just like when when somebody looks at it, would they be able to say that's a scalene obtuse or obtuse skinny, all right? Uh, right, isosceles. Well, you can make it look like a traditional right triangle like this, where you have your 90 there. And then you say these two are the same. Or you can make it look like that, where the 90 is up top here, if you like, and the two sides are the same there. You could have had like maybe 9 meters and 9 meters, if you'd like. that do the trick as well. Um, you can... You could also, instead of the 9 meters, 9 meters, just say, if this is 90, right, then there's another 90 to split. So this would be 45, 45. That would also work. Okay, so you be creative. All of this is on the answer key, so all of them are, are done on there. So let's uh, continue a little further. I want to take it a little further than what we have been. But nothing really brand new. We're just going to use some of the skills that we've learned in the past. Okay, so go to page 12 here. I'm going to use a highlighter. So page 12. If I ask you to classify something like this, right? You're like, wait a minute. This angle's outside. What's up with that? Right? No worries. You look at the straight line there, and uh, sorry, I'm going to use a wrench. If this is 120, then I know that this has to be what? This is 120, it's 180, right? So this would be 60, right? Your brain is just like mine after spring break, it's all good. Okay. Right, exactly. So this one here, straight line there, this is 150. And uh, this must therefore be 30. Let's, let's uh, tell ourselves what it is that we're doing. Straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. That's what's happening there. I always try to look for the hat, right? You see that hat there? Straight angle is equal to 180 as well. So you've used that property twice. Okay. Now we can figure out this one here. Let's make an arrow point to it. We've got these two, right? So we're going to use 180 minus the 60 minus the 30. That is 90 degrees. So you figured, I, I know it doesn't look like it. I know, I know that, but technically you can put a box up here. That is a 90, right? What did we use here? We use sum of a triangle is equal to 180, right? This is the property we've used. 
to find the third angle. I hope you follow me here. So what are we going to call this? Well, we're definitely going to call this a right because of that. And they're all different, right? All the angles are different. Scalene. I will make a note under this. All angles are different. Right? Therefore, all sides are different. So when all your angles are given, it's easy to classify, okay? Let's go and try that one there. I just want to have the key in front of me so that I don't forget to mention important parts. Here. Um, this one here, we've got two angles out of the three. Use that. So I would figure this one out. Angle Y is 180. Show me the work, right? Minus 90, minus 41. Angle Y is, we know that these always add up to what? to 90, right? So this is 49 degrees here. This one, 49. And never mind the side lengths, guys. Just go by the angles. This is going to be a right scalene again. Yes. So right because of that. Scalene because all angles are different. But Mr. Jackson, we only know one side length. Don't worry about it. I know they're different. Right? So we're not so so uh, much looking for solving the triangle like we used to do in trig. This is more about classifying it. Like, And sometimes we use the shortcut. Uh, let's make a note because exam, right? All angles are different. There we go. That way you can tell yourself, how did we do the side lengths if we only know one? What's that? So this one, watch what I'm going to do. It's right, correct? Right, right? Right. But we don't know in terms of side length. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. I've got two out of three, right? You want to, you want to use sine law? Go for it. It's all connected. But we don't have another angle, so we can't just quickly find the third. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to call this side F. The train always waits for me to speak or for a test, and they come by. Anyways, so for a leg, I'm going to quickly just check. 3.9 squared minus 2.8 squared. That gives me 7.37. So F is 2.71 meters. Look at all three sides. It doesn't matter how close it is for us. It has to be exactly the same for us to make a conclusion. This is different. They're all different, correct? So it's scaling again. Right? And I'll make an arrow to say all sides different. Could I have go ahead? Could I have just figured out angles, like all the angles? Sure, you could have. Why not? But in this case, using the Pythagorean theorem would have been a lot easier. Okay. Question, if this number had been 2.8 on the money, this one, then we would have concluded that it's a right isosceles, right? So keep that in mind. But we definitely ruled out that this is equilateral, correct? 
because equilateral needs 60 on either on every single angle. So the 90 takes that care of that it's a right. So now we just need to figure out the rest. Okay, keep going. I'm just going through various scenarios here. Page 13. I'm done. I'm going to be done shortly after this. So make sure you just follow one, one last. So just give me a couple more minutes. Use sine law or cosine law to classify triangles. Okay. You're, you're with me, right? Page 13. All right. Use sine law, cosine law to classify. When are you going to use that? I'm just going to make sure I have the notes here. Uh, I'll say this. All three sides are known. Right? Um, keep that in mind. So that's side, 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 right? So based on the sides, what can we conclude? This is we're going to make a classification based on angle and based on side length. Based on side length, if you look at this, what kind of triangle is it? Scalene, right? They're all different, 6.1, 4.9, 2.5. So let's go ahead and, and make sure this is scalene. But angle, can we tell what kind of triangle it is based on the angle? Don't go by the diagram. The diagram looks a little obtuse, doesn't it? But I'm going to ask you on these ones to actually do the math. So this is the one we're going to go for the longest side. And then we're going to check for that angle right there. This is the largest angle. Okay, you ready? We use cosine law, right? Cosine of angle Y is going to be equal to, oh my goodness, I don't want to do sine law and cosine law again, right? Uh, remember, if you want this angle, you're going to take the side across from it and put it down right here. And then you take the other two sides. And just square and add. And the denominator, it's 2 times 4.9 times 3.5. Okay, let's, let's crunch those numbers. Do the top and the bottom, please. Take a few seconds. What would you be looking for when you do this? You can just go ahead and do the whole thing and figure out the angle itself. But there's something else that I, in particular, will be focusing on. And this is the answer. Is it positive or negative? See how it's negative? So it's been negative 0 0.95. And the denominator is 34.3. What do we know when it's when this is there? What kind of an angle are we expecting if it's a, if there's a negative? Do you remember? It's obtuse. When you have that, right? We're expecting an obtuse angle. Watch. If you don't believe me, you just go keep going. Angle Y is cosine inverse of what you get when you divide these two. So I'm going to actually do that. 
minus 0 0.95 divided by 34.3 it's negative 0 0.027 dot 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 the cosine inverse of that and there it is 91.59 degrees See, it's obtuse. I told you. So because of this, we can go back up to our naming here and we'll, we'll put down obtuse. Mr. Dirksen, don't I have to check all of the angles? No, you can only have one obtuse angle, right? So we're done. Okay. And if this had not been bigger than 90 you know for a fact that they're all less than 90 because if this is your largest angle and it's less than 90 it, none of the other ones will even come close to it right so that's what you know there so I'm gonna go arrow like this okay because of the work I did that's how I was able to come up with that right so you know you didn't know this at first. We had to do a little bit of work. Okay. And scalene came from the fact that we knew all three numbers. All, all the sides were known to us. Right? So there we go. So I'll tell you something here. Make sure you write this down, okay? If you ever have, if you take cosine inverse, of a negative number you know that it's going to give you an obtuse angle and this is greater than 90 make sure you write this down because I'm going to box this in if you take if you take cos inverse Watch this. You haven't seen this a whole lot. Of zero, you actually get a right angle. It's exactly 90 degrees. If you use cos inverse of a positive number, it's going to be acute angle. less than 90. That's worth highlighting because it's very important. Can you try this real quick with your calculators? Use, go shift, cos, like inverse cos of zero. Can you see that? And then hit equals, exactly 90 degrees. Okay. So nothing new guys, you just, you're just going through the motions, right? You, you're just going, it's all about classifying it. Okay, keep going. What if you had something like this? One angle, two sides. What's up with that? I cannot tell for sure that this is scalene, not yet. I cannot say if this is going to be obtuse or acute. I don't know that. So, what do you see here? You see a pair, right? And you have a side there. So let's go ahead and start solving some things. Solve for angle A to get more info. Sign 49.
sine of a over 500. And then you go 500. This is so, this is reviewing your skills. And then it's angle A is sine inverse. 500 times sine of 49 divided by 380. That's 0 0.993 dot dot dot. That's 83.24. It's important to me. And let's just for, for the fun of it, find angle C. I don't know Mr. Dirksen, but nothing about this is fun, right? That's what you're saying. And uh, that's okay. Forty-seven seventy-six. So I, if I focus in, if you have three angles, you're laughing. You can actually effectively classify this, and because they're all less than ninety, this is an acute first name, right? And last name. All all angles are different, right? So that is a scalene. It's a pain making these questions, guys. I have to go like backwards. I have to have a fully solved triangle, then just erase numbers so that it actually works out. So why is it acute? All angles less than 90. And, and why is it scalene? All angles are different. So much work for this. Okay. Um, let's say you're like, no, 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 I want to find side C to know for sure. You go for it, but you might run out of time, right? If you do that every single time, you start solving everything. It's a lot more work and it's not, right? It's not necessary. So I'll leave that, I'll leave that up to you. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking here, but I will uh, ask you to try some questions. Okay? So on page 14, I'm gonna write down the ones you should be doing, but I will post the keys to a whole lot more than just that. So if you want more, if you feel like, you know what, I need a few more to get it, Come with me to page 14. And there's lots of room, right? That's why it seems. Page 14. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to make this a centimeter. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. Not, not at this point. Maybe a bonus question. Good eye. Good eye. OK. Homework. Did he say the H word? Maybe. 14, 15, 16. Three pages, right? Wow. That's just brutal. But look at how much room there is. Like, and they take like a couple minutes. I will post. So this is what I would say you should do. The key will be from pages 14 all the way to 22. Say what? Okay. Um, I think they're worth, like I picked them strategically, so I think it's definitely worth giving it a shot. Um, but I do know you have lives, you have jobs, you have other things going on, I know that. So it's up to you how much work you want to put in. Thank you.